Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. A lot of popularity around ADA at the moment. A lot of people pumping ADA, hyping ADA because of the Vasil hard fork. And indeed, you know, maybe there will be a bit of a rally before the hard fork. That is not guaranteed though. Bear that always in mind. If everybody thinks you will see a rally, it is very, very difficult and it may not happen at all. So um, what I can't, <clears throat> what I can't tell you is because uh, my view is still very much that for ADA, we still expect a lower low here um, in a five wave decline. And that we are still here in this one, two, three, four, five pattern to the downside at the moment. My view is we will still still see a lower low. What I can't answer you, if that lower low will be before the hard fork or after the hard fork. We can certainly see a bit more upside before the hard fork. Um, it won't be to new all-time high level. I mean, that would be uh, absolutely unrealistic and it would um, surprise me massively. Of course, nothing can be ruled out, um, but bear in mind the Vasil hard fork already on the 29th of June. And usually we saw price reactions on the ADA chart like six to eight weeks before a hard fork. To be honest, at the moment, we don't see a lot here. This is still very much a range market. This is still very much a corrective wave pattern at the moment and does not suggest any impulse yet. It looks better than, for example, a Bitcoin, but it still is not that I would say, okay, the low can be in with a high likelihood. Only, this would only be the case if we see significant price action above the yellow target area, which is far away for here, the ideal target area. And we are currently still in the target area. In fact, we even left the target area to the downside. So only if we break above that area to the upside and significantly and hold it, only then I'm very confident about talking about um, a Cardano low could be in. Currently I have to remain here quite flexible as to how to label this. Uh, we've got a few options here. Um, so summary here is that we came down in a wave three on the 12th of May. We moved up in an ABC wave in a wave four. And I'm my view is that we have a good chance to be now in this wave five to the downside already. I don't claim this is necessarily the only possible option um, because the market is at the moment highly, highly uncertain. This though reminds me a lot of what Bitcoin did from January to March. This sort of slightly upward sloping channel out of which we then broke out to the downside. Yeah. Um, can just um, maybe we can have a quick look at the Bitcoin chart just to show that to you. Um, because just because we are moving up does in no way mean that we are back in an uptrend. So what I'm talking about is this wave pattern here that just reminds me of what Ada is doing at the moment. Of course, this year was much more complex, but you also had an upward sloping channel. Um, we had strong moves to the upside that were then sold off again. And uh, in the end, we had a massive reaction here to 48.5K and then moved down and crashed to 30K. So this is something we just need to keep in mind. And um, yeah, I mean, I would love ADA to go up massively. I just don't see the evidence yet. And on this channel, we always wanna see the evidence. Um, we have seen the target area. So anybody who wanted to buy ADA had a chance in here. This was my target area for the end of the correction. So we came into it. But of course, I cannot tell you when we make a low in here that this is definitely the lowest low and that we only will move up. Um, we have to wait how a structure develops after such a low in such a target area. And at the moment, I can tell you that my view is that the structure here is still very corrective, which would mean we will come down once more lower. But this was the area to buy between 29 and 54 cents. That is why these target areas are there. They are the areas, the higher level target areas for ending a correction, okay? So even if we come once more into the target area, uh, it will still be covered even if we move down to 29 cents, um, not K, did I say K? So if we move up down to 29 cents, then it would still be covered by, um, yeah, this overall correction. And uh, yeah, so we can still go into the target area once more. That's what I'm saying. and. The likelihood is still very high, even because we haven't even made anything crazy here to the upside. Nothing that would convince me at the moment that the low is already in. So looking at this in a little bit more detail, 
I tell you that we could have seen here the purple wave two already. Is that likely or not? And this is where we currently have to say we are here in a state where we just need to wait for price action because there is the option that this is over, this wave two. However, um, we would need we would need to stay below 60, 66.9 cents. If we don't, then this wave two will continue. Um, we have seen a strong reaction now from up here and a move below the wave B, which would be at 60.1 cents, would suggest that we have a wave three here in purple already unfolding. So this is the level we need to watch the wave B low at 60.1 cents. If we go below that level, it would confirm in my opinion, or at least be a really good indication that here the wave three to the downside is unfolding. As long as we stay here, we have to assume that the wave two could not be finished yet. We need to be open to that. And um, that would mean we will we might move up here in, for example, just um, a diagonal. That is another possibility that from the low, for example, um, just think that might be from the low here. And I would need to I would need to label here the, the rest. Just thinking how that could be down here. Yeah, no, we could label this as a diagonal as well, so that we might have a diagonal pattern here in this C wave. Yeah, so that it might be something like um, that was a wave one, that was a wave two, that was a wave three, that was a wave four, and that the wave five is still coming. Um, and that would then be a count how we could wave, how we could count wave two if wave two isn't complete yet because this would mean that five wave move that you have seen would be part of the wave C of the wave two. A wave C is a five wave move and therefore we could um, label it then like that. But for that scenario, if I put it on the chart again, that wave five here is not allowed to move above 68.7 cents. So not above, not above that level, 68.7, which is the high on the 31st of May, that would invalidate this one, two pattern. Yeah, you know, everything all the way up to 68.7 cents still possible in the current scenario. Um, a move above 66.9 cents would make it, um, would make me think that the wave two hasn't been completed and the move above 68.7 would suggest that the wave four hasn't been completed. It would not be bullish, okay? It would not be bullish. We want to use the Elliott waves here to understand from which point we are getting bullish and we are um, going to see an impulse at the moment. This is not impulsive, I can tell you that. Um, if we move, as I said, below 60.1 cents, then it could suggest that we are already on our, um, in our five wave decline here. Yeah, that might finish off then the wave three to the downside there. And at some point I do expect the move down. If this is already the move down, we need to see, we need to break first of all 60.1 cents. As long as this isn't happening, we are in a range market here between the 60.1 and the 66.9 cent level. And we need to wait here for a breakout and a decision of the market, which we might not get before the CPI data is released today. But then there are opportunities, um, either a long opportunity to the upside or to the downside here, a short opportunity for anybody who wants to do it. Um, again, no financial advice and only for ADA, only for ADA, significant price action above 75 cents would make me more confident in saying that the low might already be in for ADA. Um, but at the moment, there is just no evidence. There is no evidence. So the only way how we could possibly label that in a bullish way would be a wave one, a wave two, this would still have to be the wave three, then four down and five up. Yeah, so something like that. Because you have wave one, two, this would need to be another wave one and a wave two within the wave three here, however. Um, and then you would need actually that wave three to go all the way up to. One second. 
all the way up to at least 80 cents. So I think only there it will get interesting. 80 to 81 cents. Only here it will get interesting. Um, but looking at, because this is another one too, and the wave one was quite long, it would need to be higher actually. Yeah, we might. We might look more at the 89 or even $1 level. Yeah, because this will be an extended wave three. So it will be tough. It will be tough. And, uh, you know, if anybody's waiting for confirmation, you have to possibly sit through quite a bit of a price increase to wait then for another correction. Because if this is a five wave move, you would expect another correction after that in an ABC. Yeah, well, that could come down quite a bit, maybe to the current price range again. But um, yeah, as I said, this this is the problem with, with cryptos because they are so volatile and the FIB levels are so much extended. You really have to wait some point for a very long time to get confirmation that the low is already in. At the moment, the price structure doesn't suggest this at all. And the problem I have with this is that this move up here is just horrible. I mean, the structure of this move up there, there is literally no structure, very hard to count. And um, the, to, to call this a wave one here, nah, I'm not convinced. So yeah, I still expect lower low. Now that could happen only possibly after the basal hard fork, you know, um, if we see, so my strategy is if we see a pump before the basal hard fork, then I will probably sell some of my ADA um, during this pump, in my we can't call this a pump yet, absolutely not. But if we see something that might be approaching a dollar or something, then I will sell a part of my ADA uh, that I bought down here with my buy orders that every channel member can see on on Discord. Yeah, because um, this was the target area. Yeah, and here some buy orders triggered, and I will probably sell some of them when we approach. Um, yeah, the Basel hard fork. Should we see some more upside until then? So covered both ways in this case, which is which is good. Um, and then after the Vasil hard fork, we could see that lower low. So don't necessarily expect that lower low before the Vasil hard fork. Um, I think sentiment might push the price up. But again, even if we move here to a dollar or something, again, that could then, depending on the price structure, be an impulse or it could just be a correction. It could still be some kind of a corrective wave. Um, and we need to see that. Um, depending on how it evolves. And based on that, I will make the decision what I'm going to do. And of course, keep you updated here on this channel. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.